there everybody welcome back or if you're new welcome here my name is crystal and i am a full-time seller on poshmark under the username punky doodle which i will have linked in the description below today i am doing a kind of small thrift haul i went to one of my local salvation army stores on wednesday um, here they are half off on every wednesday and i only had a little bit of time and i got two bags not quite full of stuff so not not quite the big haul that I usually get but I will go ahead and show you guys anyways the first item you can kind of see hanging back here is an Eileen Fisher cardigan um, it's hanging up there because I had to spray wrinkle release on it because it was super wrinkly so that's laying down to dry and I just popped a button off of the second item so that's no fun I'll have to repair that but it is this Zara button up and I'm sorry for those blind lightings. I'll try to hold everything over here. I think this is a duck print, or maybe it's a quail. If anyone has any ideas on that, feel free to let me know down below. But it buttons up and it has these cool like stud details, which is one of the ones that I just popped off. And I'm gonna set that over here so I can sew it back on. Um, next item. Oh, and I already took the tags off of everything, so I can't tell you what each individual item was, but I spent $45 for everything. And the next item are, I've sold this same exact item in a different size before. They're just these printed fresh produce. These are plus size, they're a 1X, made in the USA, just kind of pull on shorts. I sold the same pair before. Fresh produce sells pretty well for me, especially in plus sizes. And then we have the Under Armour sports bra. Pretty basic, but that's another brand that does well. On the bra department, we have Victoria's Secret, just gray, space dye. Um, it's a 38 triple D, which is the biggest size that they make. So I love finding that size. Ooh, next we have what's probably my favorite find of that trip, which is an Alice and Olivia blazer. It's white. I think it's linen. It feels like it's linen. Cotton linen blend, yeah. So I did have a couple really small spots that I'm going to try to spot treat and see if I can get out. But that's a brand that I don't find often, but that's, whoa. So, amateur hour right there. I don't know how to edit, so that's going to stay in. Sorry. I have you propped up on top of a box against my bottle of wrinkle releaser. So, here we go. <laughs> Alright. Then we have Nick and Nora onesie pajamas with sock monkeys. The feet have the little monkey faces super cute so we get into fall and winter footy pajamas and things like that fly fly out the door then we get to some jeans these are just basic american eagle skinny jeans great staple item for my closet they always sell pretty well in the like 25 dollar range then we have cut from the cloth katie boyfriend jeans it's another brand that does pretty well for me and the last pair of jeans is another pair of American Eagle skinny jeans. These are actually the jeggings, but you know, pretty much the same thing. Basic skinny jeans. I need to stop throwing stuff because I'm making you shake. All right. And last thing from that bag is this cloth and stone. I should have buttoned it up, made it look presentable. But uh, it's just a denim chambray shirt dress really cool next bag I thought this would be better lighting but with the blind lights all over here craziness not so sure that it is I'll figure it out eventually maybe we'll see <laughs> next item is this new with kind of half tag pretty boho like printed maxi dress it has a tie at the waist has a side slit i'm gonna get that listed today so that it can go on the everything plus size party i'm just creating a mountain blocking myself it's, it's such a
such a professional. <laughs> All right, and then we have this vineyard, vineyard vines, however you say it. This is in the pajama section. I don't know if they make nightgowns. It's 100% linen. I don't know if this is supposed to be just a light dress or if it's a nightgown. I'm gonna have to do some research on that one because in my opinion it could kind of go either way. Next is this Beauty and the Beast bell dress. It's that yellow gold color with textured floral print and glitter. And it's got the ruffle up the back. And it's literally Disney Beauty and the Beast brand. I thought that was pretty nifty, so I picked that up. Oh, this is, might be one of my other favorite items. I found this patchwork cat top. Cat stuff does really well for me on Posh. Anything you tag, you know, hipster crazy cat lady, that kind of thing sells really well. I love finding cool quirky stuff like that. Next I have this sleeveless like Wednesday Adam Peter Pan collar style top from Torrid. Torrid does super great. I was really tempted to keep that top for myself actually but then I tried it on and I didn't love it on me so it's already listed in my posh closet actually along with this Torrid top which is a plaid baby doll style. It is the older Torrid tag, but this is still so cute. It's plaid with like floral and lace details. Super cute, that's already gotten several likes in my closet. And then one last item, I told you this was a pretty small haul. It's just another plus size top. The brand is Ava Grace, that didn't really mean anything to me. It's just a fun print, it's got cold shoulder cutouts. I kind of bought this for myself, but it was another thing that I tried on. I was like, I'd rather sell it. So that's the haul. Full disclosure, I'm probably going to turn around and film another one that I have from a 50 cent sale that I went to. I have four huge bags for that. Otherwise, I would just combine them. But I don't think anybody wants to sit and watch my amateur hour, hour long video. So I will cut this one off here. Please, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. If you have other ideas or any Poshmark related questions that you want me to answer, I would be glad to make a video about that. Leave your Poshmark closet names um, down in the comments below so I can share and follow your closet. And until then, thank you so much for watching. Bye.